When you are asked to solve a quadratic inequality, there are a few things you need to bear in mind. The first thing is you should always draw a diagram. This will make it easier for you to find the values that solve the inequality. And the second thing you should always take into account when solving any inequality is when you divide or multiply by any negative number, you must reverse the inequality. And why is this? So if you take this inequality, minus 5 is less than th minus 3. If you multiply by negative 1, you will get 5 is less than 3. Well, that's not true. The true inequality is 5 is greater than 3. So whenever you multiply or divide by a negative number, you must always reverse the inequality. So let's get rid of this. So now let's solve our two inequalities. Well, the first one we're going to solve is x squared minus 9x minus 10 is greater than 0. Well, we're going to do this by factorization. So let's first factorize. So we get x minus 10, x plus 1 is greater than 0. Therefore, x is 10 or x is minus 1. So if we draw a diagram of our inequality, we know it doesn't have to be perfect. So we get 10, negative 1. So we can draw our inequality. It looks like that. And we want whenever the inequality the equation is greater than zero. Well, this occurs here. It's greater than zero there, and it's greater than zero there. So that means we want any of these x values or any of those x values. So our solutions are x must be less than minus 1 or x must be greater than 10. For b, minus 2x squared plus 3x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 0, we're going to use a GDC. The first thing you need to do is open your GDC at a graphs page. Type in your quadratic, which I've already done for speed. Press enter. There is your quadratic. So the first thing we need to do is find the two zeros. So go to menu, analyze graph, zero. So slightly to the left, slightly to the right. So our first zero occurs when x is minus 0.851. Do the second zero, so menu, analyze graph, zero, slightly to the left, slightly to the right. So our second zero is 2.35. So we now need to solve the inequality minus 2x squared plus 3x plus 4 is greater than zero. Well, it's greater than zero between the two zero points, because as you can see, the graph is above the x-axis. So the solutions for our inequality are x is between minus 0.851 and 2.35. Now let's write down the solutions to our inequality. Well, it is x is less than or equal to or lies between 2.35 and minus 